Now, Houston is a team that I've been meaning to do for a while. Earlier in the year, they started off extremely sloppy against the likes of UTSA, Tulane, etc. And whilst admittedly they have bounced back, that hasn't been against Big 12 competition. So at the time of recording this, they are currently 7-4 coming off a blowout victory. But I figured we might as well jump in, turn them into the beast that I know that they can be in the Big 12. That for me is enough to warrant them a rebuild. Well, what is goody fellas and welcome back to the channel today we're going to continue with our rebuilds we're starting off pretty strong as well clayton tune looks like that guy 87 overall unfortunately we only have him for the one year running back is a senior we have brandon campbell though who looks like an absolute monster 91 at wide receiver a lot of them are quite old though i don't know what they've got going on with the depth chart but jackson is a freshman so obviously i'm going to start him and then we've got Golden as well, who's a 77. I think we might be good to start off. We've even got RBT here. Offensive line looks relatively young. That's a good sign. How did this team drop the ball so bad early on in the season? I have no idea because they don't look that bad. Okay, so apparently we need everything. I don't know about that one, Chief. But to start out, what do we got? Nothing but three stars. I would like to genuinely find some three-star beasts if I can. We haven't got like Insta Commit or anything like that yet. Some of these three stars are pulling their weight though. I'm seeing low 70s. Maybe they go up, maybe they don't. Look at that. Richard Reed, five-star defensive tackle. Okay, Michael Williams, 75 overall. There goes another gem in Jason Arnold. So far, so good. 77. Since we don't have Insta Commit, it went for a while there's no reason not to offer these guys if i could just pick up these seven blokes right here i'd be happy you know what even throw in a cornerback because why not so one very important thing about this rebuild is we need to win enough games to at least maintain which i think is going to be a bit of a problem jumping straight to the big 12 might cause some issues it's like we can get these blokes right here we're gaining dropping down on the quarterback you know what i don't even really care about the quarterback and then it looks like we're even going to get Rocky Hall here. The question is, though, what do we have in low lock? It looks like there is a lot of 18%. Two of them, five-star players in the top 10. Five-star quarterback. That's why I didn't care about getting rid of the other guy. Oh, yeah, this is broken. This What a year to start out on with a low lock. In fact, scrap everybody I have on the board. I just want these guys. More four stars. Okay, we even got ourselves a four-star cornerback who doesn't look great. Another athlete, another running back. This guy is five foot eight. You know he's gonna have like 96 speed. This guy is six foot three and runs a four three eight. Not a bad pickup there. There is a lot of running backs. I don't even think I need this many. Now that is what I call a drop off Not that guy Anthony Martindale actually goes up to where Terrence Pollard was Bit more accurate, bit faster We'll have to think about that one Okay, this guy's even better This guy's 95 throw power 96 beat, 96 excel, okay Where did all these players come from all of a sudden? Yeah, I feel like I have to get on these guys early So let's go Alex Williams That's the really short running back And it has to be Nate Hartman Like you're trolling if you don't From Connecticut as well 95 throw power. You are Jarkin Machan. In this alternate timeline, we beat UTSA. Well, we beat him in real life, but it, w it went to overtime. We're somehow still in the lead for him. We got Anthony Martindale in the bag. We got the quarterback in the bag. Can't get the middle linebacker. Alex Williams looks to be in the bag. Blake Harris looks to be in the bag. So let's go Akeem Nelson. Oh, we got Baylor in week 10. This is going to be a hell of a game that we're going to lose, but we're still going to be there. And we beat Oklahoma State. Ah. Somehow, some way, we were maybe able to beat Baylor, which we did. That's why the Big 12 is such a coin toss. How do we lose to West Virginia and then flood rank for Baylor? Still, I've not gotten the running back yet. No, wait, we did. Never mind. Martingdale is the one who hasn't committed yet. Okay, I thought this class was going to be Gabagio. It seems like we've turned it around. Not as bad as I thought. And let's bring everybody in versus Cincy. If we can beat rank four Baylor, we can beat Cincinnati. Ooh. And we lost. <laughs> so what are we now? Six and four? Not great. I think that'll knock us out of the top 25. 
Okay, not bad. There goes Martingdale. Why haven't the other guys committed though? What's going on? You got to think we'd have a plethora of points left over. Okay, we'll just go 700 there. We'll go 700 here. We got locked out, which I can't get back in that battle. You know what? I feel like getting a kicker. Zach Rivers looks pretty decent. He's an 84 overall. All right, let me just slide on in there then. And we make the conference championship. I mean, I was expecting to have success. Not this much success. Okay. All right, well, this is going to be a loss. But that's fine. Only a three-point loss. So we are losing our quarterback. That's fine, though. We do have a backup. That is a lot of players gone to start out. I didn't think it would be that bad. We got a lot of transfers. Marion Harris, Errol Rogers Jr., Brennan Thompson, Ish Harris, and Corey Platt. Corey Platt is the only guy not ranked 75 or higher. I'm taking all of these guys. That is an incredible transfer window right there. If we could just get that every single year, we'd be unbeatable. Nice, we got both of them. And that was a top 25 class. So it isn't as easy as I thought to get rank one classes. That was 17. We got one five star, seven four stars. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of depth, but the quality was out of this world. That is a lot of freshmen. Oh my goodness. The good news is all of these guys will be ready to make a much bigger impact. I have a feeling like last year we're gonna lose a lot of players this year regardless Hartway is starting next year i don't care bro he's gonna have 99 throw power to start out you have to start that guy Ooh, nice fullback robert johnson he'll probably end up dropping down but that's fine with me why am i most excited about the fullback craig wade is a beast jake smith is a beast quarterback is a beast robert johnson gonna go down 10 overall well i did say if he was around a 70 i'd take it so so even though we have most of our players ready shirted we still are a 90 overall which is actually gonna make us the best in our side of the big 12 why do we always start versus utsa is that like a game or something i don't even know i don't really need this quarterback though because as we discussed i already got myself a quarterback the best bonus we have is james smith this guy's a wide receiver so we'll try our luck there maybe get ahead on some of these gems that is why i am doing exactly what i'm doing you never know if they're low lock cheese we can just scoop them up early oh wait what the hell nice okay insta commit level one so nice lead there oh, this is so good and look at these players my goodness now that is a good looking punter 85 overall to be fair though this is the one rebuild where after the first year i'm genuinely looking for wide receivers because we don't really have that many of them fan are gonna go up quite a bit he's another gem all right we still have a lot of people to scout uh can i take some points off the fullback i can whilst it is kind of a meme and i really want the fullback i still have to use my brain you know another gem nick lee gonna go down it's a quarterback though that's what i'm saying i don't even know where to go to be honest with you i guess we go i'm gonna offer the scholarships first tight end is quite rare to find this consistently as well so getting a scholarship i think we kind of got our groundwork laid out here i get it we need linebacker but he's only a 72 man this guy not worth it at all Woo! look at that that is a lot of commitment it's right there it was almost worth dropping two games so now we've already invested 700 into a lot of these guys we got the lead on rondell i kind of want to secure that sooner rather than later go ahead and get fenna while we're at it i really want to get this tackle because o-line is starting to lag behind a little bit another loss bro come on all right nice there goes thomas russell that's gonna help us out monstrously a wide receiver we got a lot of cornerbacks as well like without even really going after it we kind of figured out a major floor in our team it looks like army is stealing away quite a few of our players though for whatever reason i don't even know travis long we got him with insta commit no way i didn't even mean to do that i forgot all about insta commit dude we keep losing we are on like a five game losing streak right now bro since he is a one and nine if we lose this game i'm gonna be mad you gotta think that every overtime game we go to we have to win it we're so experienced we've gone to like seven games this year alone there we go there's a freaking blowout seven and five i we are bowl eligible i guess i don't know what it is but the first year of transfers are always amazing and then after that it kind of just you never get anything again now this is a tough choice Fifteen thousand. i think it has to be brent jones here then again seth would be kind of nice too i think i'll go 10 and 5k nice we got three of them 
That is the number one class. There's no way. Lucky we signed all those cornerbacks because if we didn't, we would have been fluffed. We also got ourselves a free safety and we do not have a strong safety. That's fine though. We, we got backups, boys. We got backups. So there might be a little bit of a change of plan here because Lucas Coley as a junior goes up to a 93. I did obviously want to start Nate Hartman as a true freshman, but with 56 awareness, if I were to start him over Coley, I deserve to be fired. Hartman would have 99 throw power with our coaching boost. And technically speaking, he is a better quarterback. Coley, just with that awareness, is just head and shoulders above. So we have to let Coley finish his season. Nice. We're going to start out rank 23. Not to mention, we do have Insta Commit fully maxed out. A lot of fantastic receivers. We're set at receiver for a very long time. Same as tight end, surprisingly. O line is not that bad either. Uh, I think I will just let this Bowman guy start. Ooh, look at that. A player in the top 10. Yari, so we are getting mad love now because we had that number one class. Starting to realize, man, that Houston ain't no joke. I do have to remember though, do not offer scholarships unless you are first on their board. Another tight end? What is with Houston and being tight end university, mate? So not bad. 93 overall. And we have a 99 offense. So we are head and shoulders above our division. As for our conference, the next best team is Oklahoma State at a 90 overall. So technically speaking, we are the best team in the Big 12. All right, Insta Commit maxed out. There goes one player. It happened to be the worst one, but I beggars can't be choosers. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I don't think I want any of these players at all. We'll go, we'll come back in week three, see what the word is, but right at this very second, I am not impressed. Hold on a second. Nick Jones, Carl Howe, and Andrew Hughes. I just threw these guys on the board. This is the number one athlete, the number one receiver, and the number one running back. And we have the lead on all three of them. Okay, no insta commit. That's a shame, but we are gaining there. Andrew Hughes not going to get the insta commit. Give me a bro. Can I get somebody, bro? Please. Ah, oh, man, that's that's not good at all. Hold on. What about Cole Pittman? No insta commit there either. All right, next week is going to be very interesting. Uh, we already signed Ferguson. He was the rank seven guy, and we're probably going to get one, two, and three here as well, just randomly for fun. We have a five-star running back. I do need a corner. I need a receiver. Do I need a quarterback? I'm going to pick up the quarterback. Defensive ends, though. Outside linebacker. I really need linebacker. We're only at 16%. Can we ramp it up from here? Another defensive end. Another outside linebacker. Thank goodness. The NCAA gods are smiling down on this rebuild right now. So many four stars, more defensive ends, another outside linebacker. Kind of need all of these guys. This is going to be a very difficult class. Somehow try and pull off. I'm going to go with the 670 guy for now. Remember that we need to come back in. We need to sign people as soon as possible. As is tradition, as we get a three point win. Yes, two commits. That's massive. So that's going to give us 2300 points back. I think most of these guys might straight up just sign because they are low lock. I'm not really sure i still got a scout don't i oh man this is gonna be so difficult to try and pull this off 99 offense for what bro we're dropping down on carl so he's out of here okay from here we've slimmed it down a little bit i would like to are we even gonna be able to get larry we can get larry can get leonard okay that's probably the best i can do though i feel like some of these players are kind of slipping through the cracks right now they're starting to slowly but surely get away from us all right if there's one time i'm gonna get some insta commits please let it be now joe smith finally got the lead thank you that is massive it says that okay we're not gonna be able to get larry ellison fair enough though man if we were talking about a number one class before this has to be it bro like last year was good and we didn't even do that well in all honesty we could have done substantially better this year because i kind of fumbled the bag with some of the players but it's such a good class this would be a big win to get us back in the w column do beat ranked west virginia so there goes Leroy Owens. So we are set at quarterback for a very long time. This guy is another quarterback, just a quarterback. He's a running back too. We are looking like a potential 10-win team this season. We're eight and three right now. So we have one more game, potentially a conference championship. We've maxed out our coach in terms of recruiting, which is insane. There goes Adam Woods just for the lols. We don't even really need him. I'm going to offer these guys scholarships because why not? Might help him out a little bit. This is looking like a 20 person class as well and we got visits eyes oh, wraps <laughs> if it wasn't the number one class before it most certainly 
is now. And we got Baylor. We are way better than them. Even our coaches are good. So there's no reason for us to lose this game right here. Oh, these games are too close, man. But there goes our first conference championship. It only took three seasons and we're only getting better from here. So I think we'll start looking at stats once that Hartman guy takes over. I want to see how he performs more importantly. Guarantee conference championship. I don't think that's going to do it. All right, where do I even go from here? Uh, I think I just go after Daniel Williams. I think Michael Robinson is probably a lost cause at this point. That is a very big class. So we got six five stars. We are up to a five star prestige. Ten four stars. Okay, that was definitely our best class. For Houston to be a four star school and pull six five stars. Nice. Brandon Campbell up to a 99. His backup, Alton McCaskill, is a 97. Coley's up to a 96. Kicker's up to a 95. He's only a junior. We have some stud receivers who are both juniors, by the way. Our third string running back, Alex Williams, is up to a 90. Hardman will take over as a junior and will more than likely be around that 94 mark, 95 mark. Because we signed that freakishly good quarterback, if you remember, Leroy Owens. I think the best thing that we can do is wait until he finishes his career. We are starting off rank 16. I am very keen to check out how we match up against the rest of the Big 12. Because looking at our team, from first glance, we're just stacked. So Leroy, you're going to get red shirted and we'll finish around that time. Looking at it, we're pretty much already done. We've even got ourselves a running back here. Even in the last two years, I might not even need to recruit. There might not even be a reason to recruit, mate. All right, let's see what we got. We have a, a player ranked in the top 10. The number one guy is just flat out not interested. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with Houston? Nice. Marvin Jordan goes up to an 82. That's a lot of 80s, though. This O-line, I wonder if I can maybe... Pinch some of these O linemen too. So we're coming in with the pretty much the same overall 95, 99 offense, 90 defense. It looks like some of the Big 12, pretty much all of our division is starting to catch up. Marvin Jordan, we got the lead on him. No way. Oh, if we could have only insta committed him. What's going on with the O lineman down here, though? We're not going to be able to get any of them, I don't think. We are gaining on Parker. We're dropping down on James. So, wide receiver, we got two O linemen. We got three O linemen. Receiver, middle linebacker, guard. Okay, let's have a gee, shall we? So, the O line is done. We got some athletes. I wouldn't mind getting some wide receivers because, you know, depth. D line there is great. That's a fantastic pickup. 6 5 runs a 4 4 2. Oh, he's going on the board. Okay, Tim Luke. That's a very generic name right there. We can get running back out the way super early here. Linebackers has to be at the forefront, even if they're not that good. The earlier we can get them, yeah, red shirt them, all that fancy stuff. You know, it's standard stuff. Okay, do I have any potential insta commits? Marvin, we got an overwhelming lead on him. We had the lead on that guy and he locked us out. Was that because I went after other people? You're jealous, bro? Tim Luke, he can, he's an afterthought. If we can get him later on, I'll get him. Roosevelt though, now that's a different story. Because we are maxed out on recruiting now too, even if we bring him in on a bye week, the bonus should be really, really solid. I just need one insta commit. Thank you. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. 6,000? Like, why haven't you committed yet, bro? What's going on with Marvin? What are the stats? So he's really fast, great carrying, 86 route running. I wouldn't say that he's like the best wide receiver. He's just very tall, very fast, and can kind of do a little bit of everything. Yeah, we can't get Eric Austin, which kind of sucks. So I would like to get a potential running back, a backup running back. This guy can play running back. He has 71 carrying. So it wouldn't be the worst option for us in the world. Should be super easy to pick him up as well. We are slowly but surely working our way back into a lot of these players. I really want Ulysses too. That's, that is just too cool of a name to pass up. We are also undefeated. We have a very difficult schedule. I don't know why it keeps putting us up against Old Dominion. I don't really understand the logic there. But 5-0, and oh, if we're going to make it, this is the season. Okay, punter and a fullback. I wonder how well we did. And we got the rematch with Baylor. Their defense is just as good as ours. They are really good. Hold on a second. So our offense barely edges them out. 
Why do we keep playing at Bela? It felt like even when we had the better record, we still played at Bela and we got smoked. So we've done really well, consistent at minimum. I just kind of want to take that next step. Lucas Coley in his senior season going to put up 4,100 yards, 37 touchdowns, and five picks. Both of our senior running backs combined for 2,000 yards. On the receiving end, Errol Rogers, who's only a junior, by the way, putting up 1,300. Matthew Golden, also a junior with 900. Blocking looked fantastic, and it's only going to go up from here. We only lose Sylvester, and it looks like we had quite a few sacks. Garfield Lawrence, who is a senior, six and a half sacks right there. Craig Wade, a freshman cornerback, had five picks. We are looking really, really solid. I do need another running back, so Marvin is actually going to play running back. We'll probably end up simulating a year or two and then reevaluating for that Leroy year because I want that year that Leroy is a senior. I want 15 99 overall players. So we are officially a 99 overall, 99 offense with a 95 defense. It looks like a lot of the teams fell off again. The only other team in our division is UCF that poses a threat. Baylor's a 91, Oklahoma State still at 90. BYU drops down to a 79, so we are big chilling. Not bad, they got the kicker that I so desperately wanted and survey says eight and four. Such a shame, I'm so disappointed in our head coach, Billy S. Why, Billy? So Hardman only with 3,000 yards, 34 touchdowns and seven picks, which is nice. Fantastic quarterback rating of 158.1, by the way. On the rushing end, Alex Williams putting up a K. Robert Smith backing him up as a freshman with 667. On the receiving end, Matthew Golden with 1,000. We're going to start seeing a lot of the younger guys creep in here, which is kind of what we need. We need some fresh blood. And then defensively, look at Holmes, five and a half sacks. Oliver and Wade splitting the picks again. So that's eight picks in two seasons for Craig Wade. This is what I was afraid of. We've got people transferring. Ah, oh, we got two of them as well. A left tackle. What's with all the O-linemen transferring? And then we can go ahead and sign Chris Jones as well. I'm curious to see how the computer does when they take over. Like, is this even a top 25 class right here? You would hope so. Yeah, look at this. 99 for Hartman, 99 for Alex Williams. Tight ends are 96. Okay, this team has to win a natty. Like, there's no shot. Look how far it goes down in terms of 90s. This is the first year that we come in straight 99. Does anybody even compete? The best team in our division is TCU at a 90. They're a two-star school. I'm not surprised. Craig Wade made the all NCAA first team. I mean, dude is just a beast. So I remember I said there was only two difficult teams in our whole conference and that one of them was Oklahoma State. It's a home game as well. Normally we play them on the road. Big 48 to 10 dub. So we're down in 19th, which really is odd. We score the third most points in the nation. Texas Tech, another team that we seem to beat quite a bit. Big dub and they were ranked as well. Oh, now this is a big game. UCF, they're not that good. Hopefully they're still ranked at this point of the season. Gonna be a massive win, dropping 70 on a top 15 team. Nate Hartman gonna win the Heisman. Very, very nice. And we have Utah, who's ranked five. You know what? It's time for a 14 playoff. I gotta remember how to do it though. I haven't done a 14 playoff in forever. All right, so we have Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma, and us. So let's go ahead and simulate this bad boy. Nice, okay, we won. Who was the other game? Oklahoma and Clemson. So this is whoever we're gonna verse in the natty. Oklahoma edges them out by three, bro. So Hartman, four touchdowns, zero picks, only 180 yards though. Running back went off, receivers went off. No sacks, only pancakes. No interceptions either, hold on a second. You know what I'm even more happy about? The fact that our quarterback, Hartway, was a Hartman or Hartway? It's one of the two. Okay, our offense is moving the ball very efficiently right now. 7-0. Oh, we're already running away with it. I do kind of want to bomb it just to see, because apparently this quarterback, he's been had 99 throw power. Okay, nearly got blitz. Oh, that's effortless. That is too easy right there. Okay, this might be my only chance to see what this rookie is made of. What this freshman is made of. We got a lot of speed on this team. Ooh! Oh, that was 
disgusting and we hit him with the step back. Jeez, no. Oh, that's the backup. That is the freshman. So we swapped out our entire offense. And that is the first play of his entire college career. So Hardman in his natty winning season at 4,200 yards, 53 touchdowns and four picks. That might be one of the best seasons I've ever seen. Williams had 1,300. Robert Smith, who takes over, had 17 touchdowns and 1,100 yards. On the receiving end, Thomas Russell had 1,400. He'll be coming back next season as well. O-line blocking is fantastic. Sacks were great. And Craig Wade. This guy is just a freak. Okay, so our DC is level one. But our offensive coordinator is maxed out. Can I get a balance of both? That would actually be really nice. It's so good, dude. There's no way we're not 99 again. We have to be 99. I'd bet me life on it that we're to straight 99s. So, second natty. Oh, it was close, but we are back-to-back -back natty winners. Okay. And to put things in perspective, I kind of want to go through the team here. So, Leroy and Tim Luke. I mean, Tim Luke's only a junior in 98. Jeff Douglas is a freshman in 83. Running back and backup in 99. Even our fullbacks at 84, which is nice. Our receivers... Five of them are 90 plus. Tight end's gonna be an 88. That might be the weakest position on the team. The O-line could be a little bit better, admittedly. Left end's a 94, right end 92. Both DTs are 90 plus. Outside linebackers are 97. Right outside linebackers are 94. At cornerback, we have 98 and 94, so absolute shutdown. 99 at free safety and 99 at strong safety. Just stacked. I could be wrong, but from what I saw, that is a perfect season. And we have BYU of all teams. What are we doing here, boys? Why are BYU 7 and 5? Where did Baylor go? So how does that even work? They didn't make the conference championship. Wait, are they in our division? They are in our division. So we would have versed them during the regular season. And I'm assuming we absolutely destroyed them. We beat them 41-31. So it was actually pretty close. Oh, got a bit of speed to him. Nice. It's kind of wild. They've gone three and out like three drives in a row. Do I just outspeed it? I think I do. Uh-oh. Don't push in the back. Cut it in. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are we out of there? Cut it back out, Scott. Oh, what a touchdown. Most of our points, yards even, have come from the return. Our quarterback... I like playing with scrambling quarterbacks, not pocket passing ones, so he hasn't done all that flash shot. Ooh. Ho oh, ho! Step back cheese! Ah! Alright, let's go for a lateral. Haven't done a lateral in a minute. Oh nice. Too bad Joseph is too slow. That is going to be it, boys. We started off really, really sloppy. We were consistent, just not good enough. In the end, when it's all said and done and the rebuild is over, we won three national championships all in a row. So Leroy actually led the nation in passing yards, 3,800, 40 touchdowns, and four picks. Robert Smith for 1,300. Marvin for just under 1,000. Spencer Scott with over 1,100. Everything looked great there. A lot of those blokes were juniors as well. Sack numbers are up. Interception numbers are up. And just to check it out, did we break any records whatsoever in this entire rebuild? Okay, we broke three rushing records. That's what's up. I think that might have been it though. Yeah, that was it. We just got the three rushing records. But fellas, that is going to wrap up our Houston rebuild. If you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm winning. Can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I'm winning. Can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I'm winning. Can I call upon a thunder? Sometimes I'm winning. Can I make the earth shake? I'm so less true.